What's up guys, it's the Vacaville iPhone King and we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of home screen replacement apps for Android today. Um, there are a lot of them and I'm using my beautiful HD2 which I call the develop device. Um, I have it loaded up with a bunch of these apps to show you. Um, the HD2 of course wasn't meant to run Android but does. Um, this is um, Gingerbread. This is the standard launcher that comes with Gingerbread. Now when you download a home replacement app from the market um, you're gonna find that by hitting your home key unless you've selected a default you should always get this when you hit your home key and these are all of the different ones that I have loaded uh, I have some betas and some unavailable ones as well to demo for you that will be coming out soon so Panda Home 1 will work with um, Android however for two 2.0 plus devices as soon as I opened it the first time it said that I qualified for 9.1 Panda Home 2 so we're gonna take a look at that one instead being that it's optimized for this device so as you can see you have home screens and the always present sidebars for often used and latest install as well as on the other side you get the uh, Wi-Fi settings, manager applications and a Panda Home settings this is where you're gonna have themes theme module live wallpaper, dock, this is where your settings for this are gonna be so as you can see it comes with quite a few settings which is always nice in a home replacement app um, one of the things that I do like is the ability to add a dock bar, a, a dock widget with scrollable apps as well as the app drawer which has the little tab at the bottom it's really responsive scrolls really nice it's, um, one of the best features of the Panda Home um, available ability of widgets it does come with widgets you can get from the market they recommend uh, some and then these are the ones that you would have installed and it comes with at least one two the app dock bar and the bar both of those are panda apps and a panda home toggle as well so you do get some widgets with this home launcher and there's a power bar for you to turn on and off different things an information bar as well as you can see it's telling me I have no sim card battery all that good stuff so that is the panda now we're gonna take a look at ADW launcher EX now this is also available in a free version however this one is like three dollars and seventy seven cents in the marketplace and it adds a few features that you will not find in the free version such as custom home screen transitions along with a random option that changes them up like this which will actually allows me to show you what most of them are without going through the settings seems that if you scroll fast it doesn't switch the randomness now ADW has 
one of the best feature sets as well as setting option sets it's got quite a few as well as a backup and restore feature one of the most notable things about ADW Free and ADW EX is the ability to use themes which are available from the marketplace um, there is a gingerbread theme available as well as different colors and uh, other options um, sports teams uh, movies, TV shows, all kinds of different themes. Uh, ADW EX is one of my favorite launchers. Uh, one of the one of the best things about the custom launchers, uh, Launcher Pro and ADW, and um, maybe one of the other ones is that it allows scrollable widgets which allows you to download some other widgets from the marketplace like Facebook that uh, allow you direct access really nicely through your home screen so there's ADW now we've got crazy home light this is the free version and most notable feature is the crazy clock really high definition um, the gears inside look th really 3D-ish uh, it's got the moving second hand which is always a bonus when you're talking about one of these styles of clocks uh, another really nice part is the app drawer on this is also very responsive however I believe yeah it is a scrollable and it also adds different things than normal to the bar such as market and maps um, this will allow you to add applications direct um, usually app replacements or home replacements will have different settings and you can see crazy menu settings crazy help uh, a lot most of the settings um, are actually not functional in this free light version so if this is a nice looking screen to you this might be something that you might want to look into uh, this is one that I'm actually thinking about buying and using who knows we'll see next up we're gonna go to eye launcher which I really couldn't figure out exactly what it was it looks like it switches between different things for you. So the Go Launcher EX, uh, pretty much a ripoff of Launcher Pro. I would almost say it's a direct, direct copy almost. So it's pretty standard with the dock and the five screens and just like launcher pro it's got preferences and ooh, one of the differences in the go <clears throat> compared to launcher pro is that there are theme there's theme support built in so that's looks like somebody was mad that launcher pro didn't um, have that feature so they decided to go ahead and add it. Really nice um, sense preview menu here. Really nice. So this is another one that I might roll with. Now, this is an interesting one. He Launcher. 
Not exactly a launcher per se. But as you can see this is sense and if you hit your menu key you will see customize and it gives you different options here such as instant change to gingerbread themed launcher nice uh, screen indicator on top integrated with the task bar so this pretty much is a one launcher with many different themes in it here's Froyo pretty much just changes a few elements of the home screen otherwise it stays the same um, next up this is the stock gingerbread launcher again however that is an added um, widget here it's not part of it and it, it's kept the same wallpaper from that last one so let's go ahead and jump to Launcher Pro. Now I have went in already and activated Launcher Pro Plus because I it's one that I have bought. And the best part about that is that Launcher Pro Plus allows you to use Launcher Pro widgets and to resize widgets on your screen. Um, these are very sense-like um, widgets. As you can see that's the Facebook widget. And if you select that and then I would go in and set it up and it would be like the other one that I showed you guys on that other one. So preferences looks a lot like the other one we were looking at, Go Launcher EX. Um, so yeah, not much there. Pretty standardized. A lot like the other one. Now we've got Open Home Light. Now. That's another one where I opened it and it offered me the ability to get this Open Home 6. This is uh, another really nice one with a responsive app drawer as well as custom shortcuts but they do not offer any specialized uh, they do have a music and a setting widget. And it looks like that's it. Let's you want to take a look at that. We're going to throw on the music widget. Not much different from the standard Android music widget. So, I do not see I believe I could not figure out how to get into the settings for this weird bubble clock Looks like a battery percentage in the corner. A favorite star button and instant search in the corner there. A power control bar. Kind of gay widgets. I mean, icons. 
Now, the last one that I have to show you is not available yet. Um, for those of you coming to Android from, say, Windows Mobile, you'll probably know about SPB Mobile Shell. They are in development on the Android, and this is a beta version. <coughs> uh, when you first activate and open it, it has all of your screens, all of your um, icons there on the screen. Once you pull some off, they go into a recycle drawer. Down here. And then you can put it back from there. So what makes this um, really cool? I'm going to have to say some of these home screens. <coughs> Such as the weather, the flicker pictures of the day, and that one. Now, this is what they call the carousel. Oh, wow. You can just hold on it. And then when you release, it'll be there. Or you can tap on it. Control it with your hand. And then tap like that. Um... Very beautiful um, manage panels option here as far as the way that this works. Just pull that one off, that one off, and we'll check mark that now. Problem is, you can't seem to get rid of ones that have stuff on them. You seem to actually have to empty it out first. See, I just took that one out of circulation. Well, it worked that time. So, that is a home screen replacement uh, overview of a lot of the different ones that are available pretty much just showing you guys the graphical enhancements to the home screen so you can decide which one is best for you don't forget to rate comment and subscribe let me know what you think and tell me what other things that you would like to see me do and you can message me for uh, a link to get this uh, beta here So. Peace out and subscribe.